Hello everybody, this is Nikhil from RLC Education. So I just want to make this video to just discuss about, uh, about the preparation style and preparation strategies for TNPSC or basically TNEB also for Tamil Nadu based uh, engineering exams that to electrical engineering students only. So this video is apt only for the electrical graduates not other than electrical students. So I have just gone through the, the TNPSC or TNEB previous papers. So you are having two exams that is uh, TN uh, EB electricity board exam and you are having the public service commission combined engineering service examination mainly in Tamil Nadu state. So regarding the syllabus uh, what are the differences between the both syllabus in electrical part I have discussed in my previous video where I have discussed regarding the notification of TNPSC and also preparation strategy a little bit I have discussed there. So here I just want to discuss about the sources of preparation. I have been getting repeated mails and repeated phone calls from uh, Tamil Nadu students that Sir, what should be our sources of preparation? Where should we practice? Why? Because see in this examination you are having two main important papers. One is the general study paper, the other one is the technical paper. General studies and technical paper both of them are equally important. Why? Because maybe everybody or most of you might be strong in technical but not in general. So this is where the cutoff will come. That means the person who will do well in general they will have more scope or more edge of selection as compared to technical. So what you have to take care is equally give importance to the general part as well as equally give importance to the technical part. And if you see the technical part the syllabus is of course it is lengthy than gate examination or it is almost equally lengthy as IES examination. Of course there are many topics which are not there even in IES examination but still they are included in this examination and I have discussed about such topics in my last video also. So regarding the sources of preparation for technical part only because now you have to properly plan this whatever available 45 days or 50 days is available for the examination in a very uh, planned and proper manner so that you will be able to equally give importance and cover the non-technical part or the general studies as well as the technical part because both of them are very important limbs of this examination for selection basically. So what I am saying is for the technical as far as I have observed the previous papers and according to that pattern I can tell you need to practice at least two or three times the complete gate previous papers okay two or three times the entire complete previous gate papers at the same time you should also go through the IES questions as so practicing of gate questions is important and IES questions if you just go through them that is enough and if you feel that particular question you find it interesting or you feel that it is something important then you can practice that but don't leave practicing the gate questions. So this particular technique is valid both for TNPSC as well as TNEB. I am not differentiating the both examination because the level of exam or the toughness of the exam are almost the same but only the number of questions in TNPSC is more as compared to TNEB but TNEB is really, I have found that many questions directly are taken from the gate examination past few papers I have seen. So that would be a very good source of preparation in order to clear the entire subject in a short period of time. But if some student who is working who is not having much time to prepare or prepare by self or maybe somebody whose fundamentals are not strong so that they cannot even start self preparation. To aid your self preparation I am bringing out a crash course on our platform rlceducation.com called as TNPSC TNEB Ascend Engineer Crash Course. So in this crash course I will be discussing all the important parts of the syllabus in a very smooth and very lucid and a very fast track manner and this particular course will be suitable for working professionals as well as the students who are not strong in their basic or students who feel that they need some support to their self preparation. So self preparation is must along with any see if even if you are taking a course in a big institution without your self preparation definitely you are not going to crack any examination if that is the case whoever takes the coaching in a good reputed institute will definitely will be a gate all India first rank or something like that. So this is a very good alternative or I can say a good alternative to going to a conventional uh, coaching center and spending a lot of money rather than spending only a few bucks and uh, staying in your house and preparing in a short period of time in a very simple manner under some guidance. So this would be a great opportunity I feel for such students which I mentioned to take this course. So I hope you will uh, utilize this opportunity well and properly plan this remaining 60 days or 50 days whatever time is available and uh, try to crack the examination. I wish you all the best. Thank you.